Hi Booktube, Lynette here and in today's video um, I'm going to tell you about the four books that I plan on reading in the month of March. As in uh, January and February I have four picks for this month. One of those um, will be the In Death book for the month, one will be the Book Club pick for the month and two will be chosen for me by my wheel of TBR. So without further ado, let's go into the books that I'm reading. So the In Death book of this month is book 15 and that is Purity in Death. In this book, Eve Dallas, the homicide detective with the New York Police and Security Department, is called in by a colleague of hers to investigate what's happened because he's actually killed a man. Uh, the man was acting violently towards him and it was claimed that it's self-defence. Some anomalies are found with the autopsy that's run on the man that Officer Trueheart's killed and then later on uh, one of the electronic um, detective division then shows uh, some violent tendencies while investigating the contents of the earlier dead man's computer and the same anomalies are found in his autopsy after he dies. So Eve has to investigate and find out who is um, responsible for this and compelling these men to become violent and obviously and ultimately cause their deaths. Really looking forward to reading it. I always look forward to these books every month. Um, they kick off my reading month really, really well. So I'm sure this one will be no exception. And I'll tell you all about how I did at the end of March. So the second book on the TBR is the Just One More Page book club read. And this month we have gone with Where the Cruel Dads Sing by Delia Owens. I'm not 100% whether I'm going to read it this month. It is a reread for me. I read it, um, I only read it um, in December and I really enjoyed it, absolutely loved it. And I have been thinking about rereading it um, anyway. Uh, so when it came up as one of the potential picks for the month, and when it came up as the actual pick for the month, I wasn't disappointed. I just haven't decided if I'm going to actually go in and reread it fully um, or whether I'll skim through it or whether I'll just look up some synopsis online and maybe look up a few other reviews and then join in the book club at the end. Uh, so sorry, Jess, um, I probably will join in the video um, chat at the end. I just haven't decided if I'm going to read it or not yet. Um, but it's about, it uh, starts out um, in the late, uh, in the early 60s, I think, 50s, 60s. I can't quite remember. I don't have a copy of the book to hand because my mum is currently reading it. Um, but it starts out with Kaya, who is a young girl being brought up basically wild um, in, in some marsh areas, um, but close to a nearby town. And there is a second timeline in which a murder has happened and eventually the two timelines come together. Uh, but the the earlier timeline is following Kaya as she grows up and as she goes through um, all the things that young girls and women go through in their lives um, through their teenage years. Uh, and and obviously some consequences of that because unfortunately her mum left when she was very very young and uh, her dad also um, abandons her so it's about how she learns to survive in the wild but also become a part of the community in a way um, and how the community views her but also um, don't overcome prejudices against her as well uh, so it is a really good read and I do actually recommend it and if I do pick it up then I know I will definitely be looking forward to it because it was a favourite of mine when I read it in December. Now let's move on to the Wheel of TBR spins which I'm hoping are going to be slightly kinder to me than they were in February because in February they gave me two historical fiction novels although one was a romance but yes, I did get two historical romance, two historical fiction novels. Um, and yes, so it was a little a bit unkind to me. Um, but obviously you'll see in my February wrap up how that actually turned out. So without further ado, here is the first spin for the month. so that's not too bad so the first spin is the last pendragon by sarah woodbury 
this is actually the first part in a serialised novel, um, which I didn't realise at the time that I was buying it. Um, I think there's about four parts to it. Um, so, so it's quite quick, it's quite short. It's actually medieval historical fiction. I think reading about it, there might be a little bit of the, maybe the paranormal about it. I'm not 100% certain. But it's a follow on from, a suggested follow on from the uh, King Arthur times, which is a time I always enjoy reading about anyway. So I really don't think this will be any problem for me. Uh, but it's about a young man um, who is claiming to be the heir to the throne and how um, a Welsh kingdom actually help him to achieve that. And it's um i think like i say this is the first quarter i think of a serialized novel so it may be that actually by the time i get to the end of it i want to carry on and see um i'm not like I say there's not too much about the actual story in the synopsis when i looked it up um purely i think purely because it is a serialized novel um so i'll probably tell you more about it when you see my wrap up for march um at the beginning of april so let's move on to the second pick and hope that this is just as kind. Oh God. Uh, I think you may have caught a groan from me right there. So yes, this is thrown up and classic novel. Um, I'm in two minds about this one, about whether I'm happy about this one or not. Um, War of the Worlds is a classic science fiction novel um, about an invaders coming from Mars and how that affects um, the England specifically. Um, it is a book that I've tried reading before, um, but I think maybe it was the medium I was using at the time. I was trying to use an app on my phone uh, to read it and the format of the way it was set up it had a scrolling format and um, so it was continuously scrolling and you couldn't stop it and I'd get lost with that and so I think that kind of put me off but it is one I've wanted to read for a long time I've actually um really in, really enjoy the premise of this story I'm I'm a huge fan of Jeff Wayne's musical version of War of the Worlds um I've been in love with that uh, if you didn't know it is actually possible to wear out a CD because I've done it, because I listened to it so many times. Um, I didn't so much enjoy the uh, film adaptation of it with Tom Cruise a few years ago. I enjoyed the BBC's adaptation of it in late 2019, I think it was aired. Um, so I really enjoyed that. And I've seen some really old uh, TV adaptations, episodes that used to be on at like one o'clock in the morning. So um, when I couldn't sleep. Uh, I would I would watch old TV shows that were being screened on the BBC at that time um, and this was one of them so I am actually really looking forward uh, I think to reading it because it is it is one that's been on my TBR for a really long time um, and I have wanted to read it um, I think maybe just previous mediums attempts at reading it might have put me off a bit so actually not too bad so I think maybe the groan was a bit premature when I saw it pop up. Um, but again, I'll let you know how I get on. I'm not planning any other books for the month of March. I am literally, when I get to the end of these four books, I'm going to see how the mood takes me. I've got to the end of February and I finished the four books and it's very close to the end of the month. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for the next couple of days in terms of reading. But I do know that um, all of the books that I thought maybe I'd want to read, I haven't. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go from there. So I'm going to leave the rest of the month pretty open ended. If I manage to read, obviously manage to read more than the four books I've talked about in this video, then I will update you all in my March wrap up. So let me know what you're planning on reading in March. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you can see more content from me. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye.